Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tag. I am Amish Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve first four question of chapter two from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra, eighth edition, written by Joseph Galen. So, without a delay, let's start. Question number one: Which of the following binary operations are closed? Option A: Subtraction of positive integers. Option B: Division of non-zero integers. Option C function composition of polynomials with real coefficients. Option D multiplication of two cross two matrices with integer entries. In order to solve the question, we have to remember the following results. Result number one: A binary operation star on a non-empty set G associates two element x and y of G to a third element x star y of G. Result number two. Let G be a non-empty set and star be the binary operation defined on G. Then G is said to be closed under binary operation star if x star y belongs to G for all x comma y belongs to G, or we can say that the binary operation star is closed. Let G one be the set of all positive integers, and subtraction be the binary operation defined on G one. Since two and three, which are positive integer, belongs to G one, but two minus three, which is minus one, this is a negative integer, does not belongs to G one. This implies binary operation subtraction is not closed. Therefore, option A is false. Let G two be the set of non-zero integers, and division be the binary operation defined on G two. Since two comma three, which is not equal to zero, belongs to G two, but two by three does not belongs to G two because two by three is not an integer. This implies binary operation division is not closed. Therefore, option B is false. Let G three be the set of polynomials with real coefficients, and function composition be the binary operation defined on G three. Let f and g are arbitrary elements of G three. Implies f and g are polynomial with real coefficients. Now f of g is also a polynomial with real coefficients. This implies f of g belongs to G three. Since f and g are arbitrary elements, this implies f of g belongs to G three for all f comma g belongs to G three. This implies binary operation function composition is closed. Therefore, option C is true. Let G four be the set of two cross two matrices with integer entries, and matrix multiplication be the binary operation defined on G four. Let A and B be the arbitrary elements of G four. This implies A and B are two cross two matrices with integer entries. Now, A B is also two cross two matrices with integer entries. This implies A B belongs to G four. Since A and B are arbitrary elements, this implies A B belongs to G four for all A comma B belongs to G four. This implies binary operation matrix multiplication is closed. Therefore, option D is true. Hence, option C and D are true. Question number two: Which of the following binary operation are associative? Option A: Multiplication mod n. Option B: Division of non-zero rationals. Option C: Function composition of polynomial with real coefficients. Option D: Multiplication of two cross two matrices with integer entries. In order to solve the question, we have to remember the following result. Result: Let G be a non-empty set and star be the binary operation defined on G. Then star is said to be associative in G if x star y star z is equal to x star y star z. For all x, y, z belongs to G. Let G one be any set, and multiplication mod n be the binary operation defined on G one. Since a multiplication mod n into b multiplication mod n c is equal to a multiplication mod n b into multiplication mod n c for all a, b, c belongs to G one. This implies binary operation multiplication mod n is associative. Therefore, option A is true. Let G two be the set of rational numbers, and division be the binary operation defined on G two. 
that 2 comma 1 comma 2 these are non zero rational belongs to g2 now 2 divides 1 divides 2 which is equal to 4 which is not equal to 1 which is equal to 2 divide 1 divide 2 this implies binary operation division defined on g2 is not associative therefore option b is false let G3 be the set of all polynomials with real coefficients and function composition be the binary operation defined on G3. Let F, G, H are arbitrary elements of G3. This implies F, G and H are polynomial with real coefficients. Now F of G of H of X can be written as F of G of H X which is further written as f of g of h of x, which is further written as f of g h x, which is further written as f of g of h of x. This implies f of g of h is equal to f of g of h. Since f, g, h are arbitrary elements of g3, this implies f of g of h is equal to f of g of h for all f, g h belongs to g3. This implies binary operation function composition is associative. Therefore, option C is true. Let G4 be the set of all 2 cross 2 matrices with integer entries and matrix multiplication be the binary operation defined on G4. Since A into BC is equal to AB into C for all A comma BC belongs to G4. This implies binary operation matrix multiplication is associative. Therefore, option D is true. Hence, options A, C and D are true. Question number 3. Which of the following binary operation are commutative? Option A, subtraction of integers. Option B, division of non-zero real numbers. Option C, function composition of polynomial with real coefficients. Option D, multiplication of 2 cross 2 matrices with integer entries. In order to solve the question, we have to remember the following result. Result Let G be a non-empty set and star be the binary operation defined on G. Then star is said to be commutative in G if x star y is equal to y star x for all x comma y belongs to G. Let G1 be the set of integers and subtraction be the binary operation defined on G1. Let 2 comma 3 belongs to G1. Now 2 minus 3 is minus 1 which is not equal to 1 which is equal to 3 minus 2. This implies binary operation subtraction is not commutative. Therefore option A is false. Let G2 be the set of non-zero real numbers and division be the binary operation defined on G2. Let 2 comma 3 belongs to G1. Now A by B which is 2 by 3 which is not equal to 3 by 2 which is equal to b by a. This implies binary operation division is not commutative. Therefore option b is false. Let g3 be the set of all polynomial with real coefficients and function composition be the binary operation defined on g3. Let f of x is equal to 2x and gx is equal to x square belongs to g3. Now f of gx which is equal to f into g of x which is equal to f of x square which is equal to 2x square and g of f x is equal to g of f of x which is equal to g of 2x which is equal to 4x square. This implies f of g is not equal to g of f. This implies binary operation function composition is not commutative. Therefore option c is false. Let G4 be the set of all 2 cross 2 matrices with integer entries and matrix multiplication be the binary operation defined on G4. Let A is 2 cross 2 matrix having element 1, 0, 0, 0 and B is 2 cross 2 matrix having element 0, 1, 0, 0 belongs to G4. Now AB which is defined by the product of A and B which is equal to 2 cross 2 matrix having element 0, 1, 0, 0. Now BA which is the product of B and A matrix which is equal to a null matrix of order 2 cross 2. This implies AB is not equal to BA. This implies binary operation matrix multiplication is not commutative. Therefore option D is false. 
since options A, B, C and D are false. Hence, none of the given binary operation is commutative. Question number 4. Which of the following sets are closed under given operation? Option A. Set containing 0, 4, 8, 12 under the operation addition mod 16. B. The set containing 0, 4, 8, 12 under the operation addition mod 15. C. The set containing 1, 4, 7, 13 under the operation multiplication mod 15. D. The set containing the element 1, 4, 5, 7 under the operation multiplication mod 9. In order to solve the question, we have to remember the following results. Result number 1. Addition modulo n is represented by a addition modulo n b where a and b belongs to z and n is a fixed integer and is defined as a addition modulo n b is equal to r for 0 less than equal to r less than n. Here r is the least non-negative integer when a plus b is divided by n. Result number 2. Multiplication modulo n is represented by a multiplication mod n b where a and b belongs to z and n is a fixed integer and is defined as a multiplication mod n b is equal to r for 0 less than equal to r less than n. Here r is the least non-negative integer when a multiplied by b is divided by n. Let g1 is the set containing element 0, 4, 8, 12 and addition mod 16 be the binary operation on g1. Now make KLA table under the operation addition mod 16. This is the KLA table. For making KLA table, write the element horizontal and vertical position and write here the binary operation. Now the binary operation is addition mod 16. We have to add two element and divide it by 16 and write the remainder. Now 0 plus 0 is 0 and divided by 16 the remainder is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4 and divided by 16 the remainder is 4. 0 plus 8 is 8 and divided by 16 the remainder is 8. 0 plus 12 is 12 and divided by 16 remainder is 12. In the same way 4 plus 0 is 4 and divided by 16 is remainder 4. 4 plus 4 is 8 and divided by 16 remainder is 8. 4 plus 8 is 12 and divided by 16 remainder is 12. 4 plus 12 is 16 when we divided 16 by 16 the remainder is 0. 8 plus 0 is 8 and divided by 16 remainder is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12 divided by 16 remainder is 12. Again 8 plus 8 is 16 when divided by 16 remainder is 0. 8 plus 12 is 20 when divided by 16 remainder is 4. 12 plus 0 is 12 and divided by 16 is remainder 12. 12 plus 4 is 16 when divided by 16 remainder is 0. 12 plus 8 is 20 when divided by 16 remainder is 4. 12 plus 12 is 24 when divided by 16 remainder is 8. Now, KLA table shows that G1 is closed under addition mod 16. Why it is so? Because all the resultant element R belongs to the set G1. Therefore, option A is true. Let G2 be the set containing element 0, 4, 8, 12 and addition mod 15 be the binary operation on G2. Since 8 under addition mod 15, 12 is 5. Why it is so? 12 plus 8 is 20. When we divide it by 20 by 15, the remainder is 5. That does not belongs to G2. This implies G2 is not closed under the addition mod 15. Therefore, option B is false. Let G3 is a set containing element 1, 4, 5, 7 and multiplication mod 15 be the binary operation on G3. Now make KLA table under the operation multiplication mod 15. Now for making KLA table, write the element horizontal and vertical position. And here is the binary operation. The binary operation is multiplication mod 15. Now 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. After dividing 1 by 15 gives the remainder 1. 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. After dividing 15 remainder is 4. 1 multiplied by 7 is 7. After dividing 15 the gives the remainder 7. 1 multiplied by 13 is 13. After dividing 15 the remainder is 13. Again 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. After dividing by 15 gives the remainder 4. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 1. 4 multiplied by 7 is 28. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 13. 4 multiplied by 13 is 52. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 7. 7 multiplied by 1 is 7. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 7. 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 13. 7 multiplied by 7 is 49. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 4. 
7 multiplied by 13 is 91. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 1. 13 multiplied by 1 is 13. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 13. 13 multiplied by 4 is 52. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 7. 13 multiplied by 7 is 91. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 1. 13 multiplied by 13 is 169. After dividing 15 gives the remainder 4. Now, KLA table shows that G3 is closed under multiplication mod 15. Why it is so? Because all the resultant element belongs to the set G3. Therefore, option C is true. That G4 is the set containing the element 1, 4, 5, 7. And multiplication mode 9 be the binary operation on G4. Since 4 multiplication mode 9, 5 is 2. Why it is so? Because 4 multiplied by 5 is 20. After dividing 9 gives the remainder 2, which is not belongs to G4. This implies G4 is not closed under multiplication mode 9. Therefore, option D is false. Hence, options A and C are true. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.